Today I'm making Yule Log. This is a great festive dessert and a good alternative to Christmas pudding. To start we're going to whisk the eggs and caster sugar until it's tripled in size. So once that's been beating for about 5 minutes, sift in your flour and cocoa powder into the mixture and fold in with a metal spoon. Preheat your oven to 180 degrees fan. For other temperatures they'll be listed here. Pour the mixture into the prepared tin making sure to spread it evenly and into the corners. Pop in the oven for 8 to 10 minutes or until a skewer comes out clean. Generously sprinkle icing sugar onto a piece of baking parchment bigger than your sponge. Carefully invert your sponge onto the paper and score a line on the long side of your sponge an inch from the edge. Tightly roll up your sponge keeping the paper inside and leave to cool. For your chocolate ganache, chop up your chocolate into small pieces and pour your cream into a pan. On a medium heat, heat up the cream until you can just keep your finger in. You then want to take it off the heat, pour in your chocolate and stir until smooth. Transfer to another bowl and leave to cool. For the filling of the Yule log we're just going to do a plain double cream, so whip up your double cream until pretty thick as you don't want it to splodge out the edges. Once your sponge is cooled, roll it out and evenly spread on the double cream. When you roll out the sponge there is going to be some cracks but that's fine because we're going to put our chocolate ganache on top and it's going to help with our texture. Now this bit takes patience, roll it back up tightly using the paper to help you. Once tightly rolled, carefully peel off the paper. I'm going to cut a small section off of my log on a diagonal and place it at the end of the roll to create a log shape. At this point you will want to position it onto your serving plate. Carefully pipe your chilled ganache onto your log using a star nozzle to create a log effect. For the ends, pipe a swirl motion to get the texture of wood. If you don't have a piping bag, simply spread your ganache on with a knife and use a fork to create grains. I've chosen to decorate with a Merry Christmas sign and some Christmassy decorations, and of course topped off with a dusting of icing sugar. So that's Mary Berry's Your Log. Easy. For more videos, subscribe to my channel. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to leave any requests in the comments below.